guess. Yourself to blame. I tried, 
Trevor! You gotta see this! Come quick, boss! They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shore's airfield, check it out. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh! What are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. It'll be quiet as a mouse. Alright, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. There you go. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss. I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor. You get a better view from the top. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! Shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Hold up! There's a guard standing under the control tower! He's slowing you down, huh? Maybe I'll amputate. Do you hear that? I can hear an 
explosion! They'll see that body! Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him! Please, just get him out! It's coming! Quick! Quick! There's one! And there's the other. Lights off! Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Oh, fire. We gotta see what he's up to. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now. He's out of the van now. Do him! If the man... You should have seen the look on his face. There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out. Shit! And they all came tumbling down. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! Clean shot, Trev! Another guy's coming out of the tower! Must be looking for the one you shot! So long, sailor! Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank! I'm on it! But there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shit! He's coming out the far door! Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's coming out! He's seen the body! Take him out before he raises the alarm! Good kill, Trevor! Chopper, just fucking drive, you're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might! Trevor, 
Just like you said! The rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Let's go, Ronald! Get me to that plane! Time to trigger those explosives on that gas tanker! Get me to my plane, Rod! some time, and that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniffing engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. Someone's out there and wants us to know it. You think it's the buyer? It better be. Drop your load. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. We're gonna make some coin from that hardware, boss. TP Enterprises are raising guidance, and the Lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. Few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool, and you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. 
I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know, I mean, demand is crazy down south. So, I'm sitting in a go-kart with nowhere to go. That's an all-terrain vehicle fitted with GPS tracking system, CB radio.
Am I okay? Don't ah! be a hero now! Go back to your home, shit, dick! Crap! Had enough of you assholes on welfare fucking with me! Ah! You only have yourself to blame! Uh.
You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I mm. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will. This is us. Chef, we're just coming down to see the kitchen. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Cheng Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. They really want you dead.
Trevor! We need to get to the front of the shop! Come on! What was that? Come on, hurry up! Let's get downstairs! Get down! They're coming through the door! Get back inside and clean up the lab! I should uh, check on the Chinese delegation. They might be catching the chill. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still going to cook that batch? Fuck yeah! You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. Ah! <laughs> you only have yourself to blame. Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was... All of you are going to die!
hell? <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse! O'Neill's! O'Neill's! How about a merger, you pricks? Here I come, you pricks! You fucking 
Let's asshole. Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. Don't look for a larger operation. Don't let him down here. Gas in a meth lab. Oh, you're going to burn, you idiots. I don't know how many months. Smell that! I'm gonna burn it to the ground! Everything you've built, see how it feels. Burn, you disrespectful pricks.
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, uh, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor. That's a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought the gifts. Come good night. Like flowers or a okay. Shut up. The Lost Camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place.
Brian K wasn't fit for the lost MC. Billy Gray, man, he was a lost MC chapter prez. Something Alderney could be proud of. Whatever they said about him snitching, man, that was bullshit. Billy would have never let this shit go down right here. One creepy little dealer taking down a whole chapter. Ridiculous. Let's take a ride. See what kind of shape they left this place in. with the bulls but i loved you all like brothers you never took no shit never made no count the road, Wadey. Los Santos, here we come. That go okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm going to fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not going to get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, 
toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay, this boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Gig gig gig! Gig gig gig! So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on the I find map. I'll give you directions. It's straight here. Just straight over this one. It's a rag up here. Just keep on a minute. This is the place, I think it is at least.
I can fly! Hey, come here, Trevor! Flying, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy that was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. <laughs> <laughs>